Hey there, it's Mr. Herman back with another video. Today we're working on, uh, we're gonna be working on uh, fraction subtraction. Uh, looks like mostly mixed numbers, some negative, some positive. Again, we do not want to use a calculator for this. You don't need one. We're gonna show all work on a separate sheet of paper. I'll do a couple of them with you. So it says here, uh, let's read it together. Um, as a reminder also, some people have asked about where the answer key is. So the answer, it's like self-checking. In other words, when you're done, it's gonna kind of say something on the bottom and that's gonna be the answer to your question, what do hairdressers do? So I'll read the directions with you and we'll go from there. Do the exercises below, the circle the answers and their letters. So you'd circle the answers and letters. In other words, the answers are over here, the letters are letters right here. Then rearrange the circle letters in each grid to make a word. So once you get all these for this part, you're gonna get a word here. So this is a word, this is a word, this is a word. I go down the side. This is a word, and that's a word. You can see based on these here, there's four letters here. So this is a four letter word right here, and there's one, two, three, four problems, okay? This is a two letter word, and there's two letters. See, there's two there, okay? <laughs> and there's Ellie. Got to should make lots of noise. Okay, so uh, let's start by doing the first one together. Okay, let's do that. So let's do the first one here, right up here. I'll do it right below here with you. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit for you. So our first one is number one. Remember, you should do all your work on a separate sheet of paper. I don't want to see this page unless you want to submit your answer. At the bottom, that's fine, but I'm looking for your work. That's all I really want to see. So number one is negative two and a fourth. Minus four and a third. We're going to subtract these two. To do that, we need common denominators. So four and three, common denominator is 12. So I'm going to go negative two and so many twelfths minus four and so many twelfths. So three times four is 12. So one times four is four. Four times three, one times three. Yeah, yeah, we will not stop. Come on, that's enough. So we got. Now, here's the thing. We're doing this as subtraction, which is really the same number as plus a negative. So now you're adding two negatives. So you're just going to combine them. So negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 6. Th negative 3 and negative 4. They're negative also, but you don't put negative in front of them. That's 7 twelfths. So that's the answer we got. Let's see if that's over here. I hope it is. There it is right there, H. So the first one's H. Uh, I'm not going to circle it, but it, you can circle it if you want. Now let's do the second one. The second one is number two. And that is six and three fourths minus negative two and four fifths. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay, that's the next problem. Now on this one, you have two negatives in a row. We know that means add. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. We'll change it now. So basically, you're going to be adding these two fractions. Not a common denominator, so we're going to take 4 times 5 to get 20, so 6 and so many twentieths, plus 2 and so many twentieths. We'll take 4 times 5 to get 20, so we get 15 on top. 5 times 4 is 20, so we get 16 up here. So now we're going to add them. 6 plus 2 is 8. 15 plus 16 is 31 twentieths. This, of course, is not simplified. I'm assuming our answer is not going to work like that. You're not going to have an answer like this. So we're going to have to take this and make this divided. So 20 goes into 31 one time. So this is 8 plus 1. And 31 minus 20 is how much? That's right, 11. Good. 11 twentieths. Now add them together, and that gives us 9 and 11 twentieths, which again, I hope is up there. Let's check our answers here. Yes, it is. It's T. So it's T. Let's try the next one now. We'll do all four of the first ones. It's kind of fun. So the next one, I'll go down here so you can kind of see it better. So it's three is negative five. Where's three at? Right there. So that's negative five and one half minus negative one and one sixth. Okay, so we are again on the idea of two negatives in a row here. So let's go ahead and make that positive first. So those become plus signs. So really, we're taking like this minus that, but let's get them set up first. So it might be easier in this case for these to be improper. You don't have to, but some people like to do that. So let's make them, let's make them improper. Most people choose to do it that way. Let's just do it that way. So five times two is 10 plus one is 11. So it's negative 11 halves. That's the whole, like this, we're making them improper. 
And then six times one is six plus one is seven, six. Now we need to count the denominator. I'm gonna probably go with six because two does go into six, but you can use 12. You just have to reduce it when you're done. So times three and times three. So we get negative 33 over six plus seven over six. Now we gotta subtract these two. Remember, if you're actually adding them, you're taking away. So 30, it's really a 33 minus seven and then make it negative. So take away three is 30, take away four is 26. So it's negative 26, six. And again, let's just reduce this as we go. Kind of run my paper here, sorry. And then from here, we can divide by two. And it'll give me negative 13 thirds, which three goes into 13, four. So it's final answer is negative four and a third. Let's see if that's in our letters. I hope it is. It's right here, E, negative four and a third. So it's E. So we have so far H, T, and E. Let's do the last one. The last one is four. And let's see what that is. Maybe we can rearrange those first letters. I can't guarantee it'll be the right word, though, because I haven't checked it yet. So but let's try it. What the heck? So here is number four. So number four is four and an eighth. Oops, four and one eighth. Minus one and three fourths. Mm, Come down there is going to be eight, right? Because four goes in eight. So times two. So I get four and an eighth minus one and six eighths. <laughs> this is tricky because I can't take one minus six. So I have to borrow from the four. So borrow from the four, make it a three. Eight and one is nine eighths. So these are equivalent. And now minus one is six eighths. That's one of the ways we showed you to do that. Remember, there are four ways, actually, but we didn't do all four ways all the time. Just try to pick a way that you liked. So 3 minus 1 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 8. So 2 and 3 eighths. Again, let's hope that's up there as one of the answers. Yeah, right there. I see it there. Right there. So it's Y. So it's Y. So let's look at these letters we got now. In this first section, we have H, T, E and Y. Hmm. Uh, what do hairdressers do? Well, how about they? <laughs> That's what makes sense to me. So they would be the first word, I think. Uh, you put that right down here then, in this spot here, they. And then, so they, something, 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 something. So that's how you do these. Again, just how you get it started. Have fun with this. Uh, message me on Google Classroom if you're confused or don't understand something. I hope the directions helped uh, with the video. Make sure it gets turned in by Tuesday today uh, by midnight. Have a good one, guys.